Hello and welcome back to Japan's Perfect Pens. Today we're looking at 10 Namiki Emperors and I'm going to talk about which are my favorites among these fabulous pens. Now this is from a collection which I've been given access to and they're not for sale and they're not mine, but we're gonna have a look at them and just appreciate what's on display here. So let's get into it. So let's get things started. The first pen up is the Namiki Emperor Shishi Komainu. So this is a gorgeous pen that came out as part of Pilot's 88th anniversary. It's fabulous. I love the detail on the lion. It's a really, really fine piece of art. Yep, love it. it for me, technically, it's a real absolute masterpiece. Next up, I think we're going to go with the Namiki Emperor treasure. Now, I love this. I love the Raiden work available on it. It's a really, really nice pen. I mean, there's lots of arguments that say the previous pen is just as fine. I mean, this is just purely going on my own aesthetic. I think this one for me, it really does it. It's a really good combination of detail um, and artistry. So that's the treasure. So next up is going to be the Emperor Shijin. This is the four gods Namiki Emperor, the dragon, the phoenix, the tiger, and the turtle. They're all fabulous in their own way. I, I mean, I love the detail on the dragon. It's a particularly good dragon, and the phoenix has got some absolutely beautiful parts to it. It's a very bold and striking design. Really good, really good pen. So after that, let's go for something a little bit different. Here is the Emperor Crane. Now the crane is made out of crushed quail's egg. There's some stunning Raiden work hidden away in the background. It's a beautiful, beautiful piece. And after that comes a fairly iconic emperor. Let's do the Emperor Nightline. So they did a Yukari Nightline and an Emperor Nightline. This is the Emperor version. It's a stunning pen. It's one of those pens that looks fabulous in real life. It looks better than it photographs. It photographs well, it looks unbelievable. It's much simpler in some respects than the Mackie work, but I just love it. It's so gorgeous. So that was the Nightline. Next up is the Emperor, Butterfly and Chrysanthemum. So this is gorgeous. Again, you can tell a theme here. I, I, I do like my pens with a bit of Raiden on them. Um, this is fabulous. I mean, the flower work, the butterfly work, it's stunning. Butterflies aren't particularly my thing, and it just takes a subject material that I don't normally care that much about and renders it in such a good way. So I absolutely love that. So getting into the final four, what's it going to be? Well, I think we go with the Toriumon. So this is a stunning limited edition piece. Um, it's got absolutely exquisite fish work there at the bottom. The work at the top is lovely. For me, this is actually taking the really, really good technical stuff and also putting it in an image which naturally appeals to me. So I do love that image. Um, so that's why it gets to be here. Uh, yeah, I mean, I really, really like this pen. And in a very similar way, perhaps unsurprisingly, the Emperor Goldfish. Now this is the only pen from this set which actually is my pen, it's, I, this belongs to me. In some respects it's very similar to the previous pen, the goldfish work is spectacular. Um, it's got a lovely artistry, it's got a lovely theme going on, this palette of muted warm colours. I, I just love this pen, I write with it every day. So that's the Emperor Goldfish. So next up is the Namiki Chinkin Hawk. I love this. This is probably my favorite piece of chinkin work anywhere. The texture and the detail on the hawk's feathers are the highest, highest level of artistry. It is staggering to look at. I'm really looking forward to reviewing this one in detail with some up-close photographs. It is a astonishing piece of work. Absolutely astonishing. And what does it take to beat that for me? Well, it takes this. This is the Emperor Pavilion. Um, I, don't, I couldn't say it's better than the, than the Hawk, it's different. Aesthetically, this is just my thing. This thing with the mountains, the pavilion, I'm a great fan of this style of artwork. 
to put it on a pen with this level of beauty. It is utterly sublime. Now there's other pens we've looked at which are probably technically more difficult to create, but for me this is the one which I choose above any of the others because it's just utterly gorgeous. So that was the Emperor Pavilion. So this was a very quick whirlwind tour of which are my favorites. And the good news is that all of these pens and many more are going to be reviewed in detail on this channel in the coming weeks and months. So please like and subscribe if you want some more of this. Thank you very much and take care till next time.